Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and <laughs> big hair. I don't care. I took a nice bath today. I um today was a good day. I went, I traveled to Pittsburgh super early in the morning and I didn't realize that there were that many stores that uh that many malls let me say so i went to one end of pittsburgh thinking oh i'm here i got here early i could have you know stop and grab a cup of coffee I, thank goodness i didn't do that because i was like first of all let me just get in well i was at the wrong side of pittsburgh so um 45 minutes later because of the traffic i got to the right place and um yeah so that was the day but I I guess I mean I just trucked along and I thought well I'm already here and it was really a beautiful place it's very it's gorgeous it's very pretty and um so I got to see a lot of different parts of it and um uh realized that our store is a lot smaller even though i i think it's so big because i guess i'm used to boutique stores and working at them um because i'm always one end to the other but this store was like three stories and double the size wide of ours but um i got to meet some people that um so i learned about tailoring it was a tailoring um, seminar today. And um, yeah, I'm glad I did it. Though I did, did the howl of scream like, what the hell? When I got in my car back from the first mall that I was at the wrong spot. I mean, it's a rookie move because, you know, I should have looked, I should have, like my responsibility is that I needed to make sure where it was instead of assuming, I guess, cause I wanted to go to this, I wanted to go to Ross Park so bad, you know, and I did get to where it is and it's beautiful area, but it's not where the seminar was. So, um, but luckily I was welcomed and well, pleasantly I was welcomed once I, once I got there, I was still there before the store opened. I was still there basically in the beginning so I didn't really miss any of the seminar, but you know, <laughs> so, and I, I was like this driving cause I, these are readers and you know, I'm reading the GPS and what it says. And I'm like, okay, it's cause I'm, I like when I have, you know, like my daughter's really good at telling me, um, where to turn and where not to turn. So anyway, my hair is all fluffy because I was soaking in the tub when I got home. I was going to go back to work, but they were like, no, we're good. I'm like, okay, so instead of seven hours of work, you're going to pay me for five and only give me what per mile. I'm not sure. So we'll see. I mean, it was more about the experience about me, like kind of pushing out, leaving but it was nice actually to get home early and I ended up planting the plants I needed to plant. So this, um, and I put all the, the bird seed in the, in the bird feeders and I planted all my plants and that was really nice. And so, you know, you, you soak in the tub, but you know, I used my fingers as I dug with my fingers. Cause I'm like, ah, I mean, I had my, my watch on, I had my clothes on for me. Anyway, I just kind of went for it. I cleaned up everything that I was waiting to do. So, there you go. That's my love up. And um, so it was worth it and wasn't worth it at the same time. You know, there was a lot of, lot of takeaways and, um, but I pushed, I pushed out of my comfort zone. So there you go. My hair's a mess. All right. So what's the date we're reading and what book? That's why you're here. 
a little time for myself. The date is May 16th, page 137. For those of you who have the book, you can read along if you like. And if you don't have it, that's okay. But you can get it from the, um, the alanon.org or you can, um, I don't know if it's on the secondary market yet. Hot cocoa is hot today. Ooh, very hot. All right, so here it goes. This is what it says. Um, I'm gonna say the serenity prayer first. Let's do that. Grounding me, I need it. Let's ground together. God grant us the serenity to accept things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Take responsibility. I can take responsibility for my actions, and I can't change where the seminar was. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. I am an older Asian woman, as it reads here. I've always felt accepted in an Al-Anon meeting. I knew I looked different, but our pain and sharing were our common bond. Uh, recently in a meeting, my sharing touched on my painful past. Afterwards, my tears started to flow. The more I tried to stop them, the more I cried. I owe no apologies for my tears, zero. Today, I allow myself to feel. Today, I allow myself to honor my feelings. Feeling them is part of healing them. Feeling your feelings is part of healing them. I like that. And my sadness will always be my sadness. I cannot change the past. But the difference today is that I do carry my sadness with me all the time, the way I did before I came to al -Anon. Again, I cannot change the past, but the difference today is that I do not, I was wondering, I'm like, what? Okay. So I cannot change the past, but the difference today is that I do not carry my sadness with me all the time, the way I did before I came to Alma. Yes, so we were talking about that yesterday, not carrying it with you, um, not letting it <laughs> live in your head rent free, people, places, and things that you cannot control. And so um, today's reminder, today I will feel and honor the memories of my sadness. Then I can let them go. In Al-Anon, I am learning to be honest with myself in all my affairs and in my feelings, in all of my feelings. So there's a quote from Discovering Choices. It's a great book, one of the books um, that I do read on this channel. And it says, we don't have to avoid our feelings. Instead, we can let them teach us more about ourselves we have big feelings the big feelings about things that happened big feelings about people that we love that we miss we can have those feelings and they can teach us about ourselves all right so what do my feelings have to teach me today hmm Something's in my head. I have a friend who sends me songs. And um, I don't talk very often to this friend. I don't talk at all really to this friend other than just to acknowledge our past and our feelings for each other. Uh, So I know I I owe no apologies for these tears here. I'm gonna say that right now. Because I can allow myself to feel 
and I can honor my feelings. Um, but my sadness will always be my sadness, I'm quoting from the book, because it's so related to this. It's That's what's coming up for me because I cannot change, cannot change the past. But the difference today, thank you. Higher power, a higher power moment right now. The difference today is that I do not carry my sadness with me all the time the way I did before. I can to Alamon and to AA, to any of my um, 12 step programs because I don't have to avoid my feelings like I always did before, like push them away, like no, because that would. That always kept me very um, miserable and discontent with my life. Because I thought this was such a waste. Everything's such a waste. All these things, all these feelings. Ah, why did I feel this way for someone? What do my feelings have to teach me today? They, they have to teach me that I can have compassion for myself so that I can give that to others. And... Um, I can surrender to that loss to gain my serenity because that's what I, I need to do here today. And um, yes, my feelings teach me that I am powerless over so many things where before I thought I was able to control them. I thought, oh, I can yoga them away. I can woo-woo them away. I can figure them out. I can understand them. I could self-help book them away. I could wash them away. I could smoke them away. I can drink them away. I could go in another, many other addictions to smash those feelings down. Um, but they harden me. And so, and, but what my feelings teach me today is that I'm an instigator of my chaos. AKA, I got lost today in Pittsburgh. What the hell during rush hour in the morning? Okay, so that's that. I did that. Catastrophizing keeps me at a distance from my higher power and my peace and my serenity. So, cheers to that with my beautiful hot cocoa that um, has my melatonin in it so I can relax. It has my magnesium in it. So I'm taking care, I'm doing self-care. Did the soak, did that. I also put some, I think Metamucil or something in here because you know, we gotta be, we gotta work on the regularity. So, and it's warm, it feels good. So I'm gonna cut this and end up for today, just for today. And I'm um, gonna pin up my hair. I'll show you what I do. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. But you guys, um, I listen to this also in the morning. It's out a little bit. This is how, not that you care, but how I do my hair to go to bed so I don't get it all tangled. And then actually, then it'll be set in the morning. The bangs, maybe not, because they're all fuzzy. Do I have enough pins? No, I don't. But yeah, I do this. See? And I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with bangs. My bangs are driving me nuts. I think I'm going to have to cut this end off. This is, I'm in the, the, the trudge stage. Do I have any more pins? I don't. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side and smooth that out. And so, but I always like kind of pull it and smooth it with my hands. Look at this. It's already much better. Let's see. See that it's shiny. Okay, so then I'm gonna take that, twist it around so it curls, and 
I had. You would think I would have another clip around here. I don't. Darn it. All right. So you guys, I love you and I will see you God willing tomorrow. And um, yeah, I have to go get some pins for my hair. I love you and I will see you God willing tomorrow. Please like subscribe and share this content with somebody who may benefit. Okay. Bye. <laughs>